Welcome. All right, so what are equivalent fractions? And basically, equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value but have a different, different representation. So let's go and take a look at you know, 1 half. Um, if I wanted to represent 1 half in a, um, in a different, with a different represent representation but still have the same value, I could multiply by 3 over 3. I'm just sorry. If I multiply by 3 over 3, or 3 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator, then I produce 3 6. Excuse me. That was really odd. So therefore, when I multiply across 3 over 6, which again, if we reduce 3 over 6, we would get half. So therefore, we could say 1 half and 3 over 6 are equivalent. Now, why are we learning about equivalent fractions, and why is that important? Well, it's really important for us to be able to understand that when, when I'm multiplying a number by a fraction, i got to make sure I multiply the same number in the numerator as well as in the denominator to produce an equivalent to fraction. Now, this might, you might be thinking, OK, well, you know, why would I want to be doing this, or what am I doing with here? Well, let's go and look at something that might be a little bit more complex. What if I had you know, five, um, 5 over x is equal to, or Let's do 5 over x minus 1 divided by 3, um, 3 over x minus 1. Okay? So if I wanted to simplify this, um, what I'd have to do is one thing that we talked about in this course you know, is reciprocating. So you'd have to multiply by the reciprocal in your denominator. So I multiply my reciprocal in my denominator. I'm going to use a different color. So I'd say x minus 1 divided by 3 times x minus 1 divided by 3. And the reason why I have to multiply in my denominator as well as my numerator is because of this idea of equivalent fractions. I've got to keep this problem the exact same value. Even though I'm going to change the representation of it, I've got to keep the value the same. Because when I multiply my denominator by its reciprocal, we know that multiplies to 1. And then here, when I multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator, my x minus 1's divide into 1. Therefore, I'm left with the final answer of 5 thirds. So if you were given this problem, 5 over x minus 1 divided by 3 over x minus 1, that is equivalent to 5 thirds. It, this just has a different representation of this. And the only reason why I know that's true is because I multiplied by an equivalent um, multiplier, which will always produce equivalent fractions. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what equivalent fractions are. Thanks.